this is Jeremy Tesmer with SGTV. When I told my friends back east I was moving to California, I remember them looking at me with wide eyes. To them, California seemed exotic. Its aura of glamour had gripped them, even as teenagers. From the beginning, California has conjured visions of utopia in the American imagination. It has been sold as a state for dreamers, those in pursuit of adventure, gold, arable land, fame, and of course, year-round sunshine. California has always been marketed as the state of the future. Everyone, it seems, wants a peace. For much of its history, that promise seemed wrapped up in the land itself. California's natural resources are as varied as they are abundant. In California, every ecology can be found. From the coast of Monterey that teems with seals and fish, to a Yosemite Valley full of redwoods and awesome waterfalls. From those parts of Northern California riddled with streams, to the drier valleys of Southern California. From purple-tinted mountains that dominate the skyline, to the vast blue expanse of shoreline. The landscapes in Collecting California record a California that is both wild and full of potential, as well as a place that suits our agriculture and leisure. Only two paintings in the exhibition make reference to human structures. Los Feliz from 1933 by Anders Aldrin and Ortega Ridge from 1990 by Hank Pitcher. The first features the Griffith Observatory on a barren hillside. The second, dream houses overlooking the Pacific on Santa Barbara's Ortega Ridge. These are structures of optimism. They look forward to a better tomorrow. So it is that the California landscape has always been one of the state's most valuable and beloved visual forms. Over its history, the gallery has helped to assemble whole collections of California landscapes. Indeed, the paintings have been popular since the 19th century. To buy a California landscape, it seems, is to own a piece of the dream. Collecting California is on view now through September 1st. Come see it.